Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergaga.com. This tutorial will look at inserting a scroll bar into your Excel spreadsheet to create a scrollable list. Now this technique is very popular within Excel dashboards where you have a limited amount of space and you wish to show as much information as possible. What we have on another sheet here is I have a, a list sheet which records all the orders coming in and we have 800 rows of information there. I wish to show maybe 10 rows of that information on my dashboard sheet and I'll provide a scroll bar so that somebody can actually scroll that list within this sheet whilst keeping it at only 10 rows so we do have room to add in you know, other charts or other information uh, if we wish to. There is also a calculation sheet in this workbook. Uh, cell C3 of the calculation sheet will keep track of the starting record. So as we scroll through our list on that dashboard sheet and we're at say row 152, cell C3 here will keep a track of that. Okay, now the first thing we need to do is insert the scroll bar itself. To insert a scroll bar in Excel, you will need to develop a tab available. If you cannot see this tab at the moment, you want to click on your office button, come into Excel options, and tick the box here to show the developer tab in the ribbon in this popular category. As you can see, mine is already here, I already have it selected. So I'm going to go straight ahead and click on the insert button and choose the scroll bar form control. And you will then be required to draw the scroll bar onto your sheet. Don't worry about being too accurate at this point, you can always move the scroll bar and resize it at a later time if you decide to have more rows or move it to a different position. But that is my scroll bar. The next step will be to format uh, that scroll bar. We need to tell it to create a cell link to a cell C3 on a calculation sheet. We just need to tell it how many records we have on that list sheet. To do this, I'll right click on the scroll bar and choose format control. Now we'll get the format control dialog box open and we're already on the control tab. So the first thing we'll enter is a maximum value for this scroll bar. Now my list has got 800 rows and I wish to show 10 rows on the dashboard sheet. So the maximum value I'll enter is 791. The cell link is where I need to tell it to input the starting record on the calculation sheet cell C3. So as I scroll through the list it's entering what the first record is in that cell. I just click on OK and that is the scroll bar done. The next step is to start to enter an offset function into each of these cells that are going to make up the dashboard list. So starting from cell B3, I'll type equals offset. As I'm typing the name of the function, you can see Excel is telling me that the offset function returns a reference to a range. It's a given number of rows and columns from a given reference. So the cell I'm typing at the moment will start from A2, the first record in the list. And in the offset function, as I scroll through, will tell me what record it should currently be showing. And it will get the information from that cell link, cell C3 on the calculation sheet. So I'll finish that off and just put my opening bracket. Uh, the first information it wants from me is the reference. So that is if I click on the list sheet and I'll click on A2. So that's the first record in that list. That's where to start. Put in my comma. Let's know then how many rows to, to move off that, to offset. Well, that information is going to be on the calculation sheet in cell C3. That will tell us where the scroll bar's position is at any point. So how many rows to offset. I'm also going to make that reference absolute. So in a moment when I look at copying this offset function across the list, I know that will remain a calculation C3. I'll put my comma and enter zero for the number of columns. I don't want the columns to move. 
the rows will move because I'm scrolling down the list, but I won't be scrolling across so the columns will stay the same. And for the last two, I'm going to enter one. So I'm going to return just one cell value. So the height of the row, so the height of the cell is one, and the width of the cell is one. You can use them optional arguments so that the offset function returns a whole range of cells. But not for me today. I'll close that function off and press enter. So the first record is bringing is the UK. And I'll select that and then copy it across my range of cells to get my initial 10 row list. And then I should be able to use the scroll bar. And as you can see, as I drag it down, it is scrolled in the list of values. If I click on the calculation sheet, you can see it's recording the starting record in there. So as I scroll through, it enters the information into there. And my offset function looks at A2, sees what record to move down, and returns the required cell. And that is a scrollable list in Excel. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please check out more of our video tutorials at our Computer Gaga YouTube channel. And also visit us at computergaga.com for other Microsoft Office tutorials.